Okay, let's pick up where we left off. Uh, which should be exactly right here. Yep, exactly. All right, and let's create a quick save. And fill that up. Speak the game a little. There we go. And now, I, if I recall from last night, um, Wind of War, investigate the incident at the post and report to Wesker. So I did that. Um, apparently, somebody got married. And the attendant ordered 30 bottles of beer. So I have to get the 30 bottles of beer. And I know there's a few more quests back here. But I got these two married to the dude in here. I don't know, I, I don't know if that'll ever actually change. Like, maybe they'll... If, I, well, I don't know. It'd be nice if there were some actual changes, like... The characters move to move in together or something like that into the barracks or something. <laughs> what? You again? That's it. If I see you in the barracks again, I will personally tear you apart limb by limb. Understand? <laughs> I'll walk wherever I want. You understand me? Grunt or shall I show it to you in pantomime? <laughs> well, I didn't die. That's actually pretty good. Now, uh, what did I do? I don't even know why I walked in here just to start this fight. Of course I'm going to die. What was I even thinking? Let me just keep going here. <laughs> so, the this guy with the vehicle, that quest is not showing up here. This guy will give me a vehicle, but the quest is not here. Um, it does actually show up when you try to get the part, the vehicle part for Fallout, in regular Fallout 2. There's a quest to get the part, but uh, not here for some reason. About repair. So I probably already go. No, I don't want. I don't want to repair or upgrade. I want to talk about the cars. Oh, no, okay. Yeah, not nothing new. I still don't have the part. I don't really know where to find the part. I think we can buy stuff from him. Yeah, he has a few things to purchase. Nah. Let's keep going. Okay. I do recall a couple of other quests in here, so let me go ahead and try and find them real quick. Uh, all right, first of all, this guy, does this guy talk to me? The man looks at you inhospitably from under his eyebrows as he continues to carefully clean the desert eagle with a piece of cloth. What do you want? It's about that caravaneer again. You better be passing by. Today I can't stand the civilians, especially hard. Calm down, I am passing by. I cannot have a conversation with him. All right, fine. Is it this guy? Thank you very much. Now I won't be able to get rid of them for in my lifetime. That's the guy who got married to him. Well, the girl's nice, etc., etc. Okay. Uh, let's set that quick save. And how about this guy? He's too busy doing nothing. He won't talk to you. All right. Well, he has nothing on him anyway. Now down here. Oh, hello. Something down here. I know there's a couple characters around here somewhere that will talk to me. So I had a whole quest with them. How about this one? No. How about this one? No. How about this one? Hey, get away from my sister! Oh, sorry. They don't. They don't like it when I talk to strangers. Ah, here we go. Well, well. What do we have here? Another radiated bone bag. Hehe. <laughs> uh, like a bag with bones in it. Talks to his brother. Did you hear that, brother? A bone bag. <laughs> My presence amuses you so much, then I'll just get out of here. Oh, that's it. All right. All right. How about, uh, yeah, right. I better go before I hear any more of your jokes. Okay. There's a both same dialogue. It's just leaves dialogue. All right. Fine. Same thing here. I could have sworn that there was a, another. I could have sworn. Hold on. I got to find. Yeah, it's got to be this guy. Okay. So there's definitely more to do here. Shouldn't be here. Can I steal the stuff? No. I can't even get to that one. All right. Well, what if I just knock her out? Just, just knock her out. Ah, oh, come on, really? Well, at least I can survive a couple punches. Okay, can I get into this thing? Okay, there's just five fruit. Okay, so she wanted to protect five fruit. I just wanted to see what was in there. Sometimes I have to murder them. <laughs> Those are annoying times. We got nothing on here. All right, so there's got this guy to talk to, and he won't talk to me. Nothing on him, sure. Well, it's $14. And this guy's the guy to talk to here, I think. 
Shall we sit down and talk? Uh, okay. I'd like to know more about this place. Care to share? Well, now we're in a closed settlement. Only the military and their families live here. Outside, you'll find nothing but ruins. And then there's the caravan camp at the railroad station. Okay. Have I talked to this guy already? Hmm. Why do you call yourself military? Our ancestors, those who founded the winds of war, called themselves called themselves that. They were military. They served the United States. At least that's what we were told. We don't know for sure. General Wesker believes in the rebirth of the country, so he tries to keep the spirit of the nation alive. And sometimes it even looks silly. How did this community come to be, and who are all these people? A bulk of the population are direct descendants of people from the local vault. The ancestors survived the Great War underground, and when it became impossible to live there, they went outside and established a settlement on the ruins of the old city of Palrump. Then, gradually, wanderers of the wasteland began to visit, but not many of them were allowed to join. Seeing the people from the outside world, the general was horrified and fenced off the area. Now, random people are not allowed here. Okay, vault. Vault? Vault? Where is it? I don't even know. It's somewhere in the mountains in the northwest. Better ask the radio operators at the headquarters. They know everything about the outskirts of the settlement. I think I can get there from this, from the, um, town map. Hmm. What the locals are doing. I'll have to fix that. <laughs> what the locals are doing. In fact, there are three types of people. First, the military. They protect us, explore the area around, and engage in major hunts. Second, those who sit in the office and do the brain work. Uh, and finally, the commoners, such as myself, whose destiny is to cook porridge, iron clothing, and maintain the housing. Well, tell me about yourself, then. God dang it, I, I've been here for three or four years. I was accepted because I did a good job for Wind of War, helped them with the, some dealings with the outside world. But if it hadn't been for Jessica, I would have gone back to the wasteland. Who's Jessica? And that's the key right there. Oh, this is, oh, this is my first and only love. Before, I always thought only about myself until I met her. She lives in the house nearby. Sounds like you're not very satisfied with your life in the Wind of War. Sounds like you're very satisfied, actually. Hmm, can I trust you? Because I'm a wanderer like you. You know, it's not so bad here if you find common ground with the purebred population. And I used to live in a different environment, but who am I kidding? Me as a half-breed here have no respect, and I'm not even allowed to have a family, but I'd be a good husband, damn it. So what's stopping you from leaving the settlement, apparently? Um, hey, uh, actually, I can leave at any time, but they won't let Jessica do the same. Moreover, they even forbid me to talk to her. After I proposed to her, her brothers called me a half-breed and kicked, uh, kicked me, kicked and kicked out of the house. Okay. I'm going to have to get some work on this one. <laughs> Her brothers called me a half-breed and kicked me out of the house. And without her, I see no reason to live. Wait, who's Jessica again? No. <laughs> Whoa, what's the problem, Romeo? We're running out of the settlement together. Are you serious? Damn, I thought about it so many times. Do you really think that would be wise? Well, hell yes, ignore your brothers. Do what you both want. Who are, you who are they to decide for you? Here you are protected. Nah, if I could just go for it. YOLO. Yes, yes, thank you, friend, for the support. For the support and all. All that's left is to come up with a plan. I've been thinking about us running away together for a very long time, but it's not an easy thing to do. All right, I guess I'll help. What do you need? So the brothers keep Jessica locked up and don't let her out unsupervised. The only way to escape is at night when they are asleep, but there is a problem. Only the brothers have the keys to the door. So you need to get the keys to the door? Ah, uh, but keep in mind, they shouldn't suspect anything. If both brothers lose their keys, it will make them suspicious. But if they lose only one of them, they may blame the loss of their own carelessness on to their own carelessness, or so I think. All right, I'll see what I can do. All right, well, one thing I'm going to change real quick. So, um, that hadn't really occurred, occurred to me to try this out uh, up to this point, but um, I'm going to save it right there, and I'm going to update the script. Oh, let me see something real quick. Did that quest for this guy actually show up here? Wind of War. It did. Robert and Jessica went away, run away from the settlement. All right, cool. Is there like a clue over here? Can I talk to Jessica? She'll say something. Nope. Um. Does anybody have anything on them? This guy has a key. Oh, I might have to steal that key. That I recall. Oh, he has a key too. That's right. That's the key I'm supposed to steal. All right, let me have a conversation with this guy first. Um, no, it's not. There's no. They're okay. There's nothing. 
I can't actually have a conversation with him. Fine. We'll just steal this, I guess. And get caught. Oh, well. Let's reload that. Come on. There we go. Yep. I stole it. Woohoo! 10 XP for that. Talk to this guy. I have the key! Uh, I have the key! Great! Great job! Now the most important thing is to find the right time to set up the barricades. The barricades? Well, of course! They won't let us through the gate, so we have to climb over the piles of junk on the perimeter. Oh, well, you need a rope, or you could just climb over the rope. Yeah, exactly! I know that the technician had one if he hasn't sold it already. Please, get us a rope! Okay, you'll get the rope. Fine. Actually, I think I have a rope. Does it show up in the tools? No. I should have at least one. Like, you always you always carry around at least one rope in, in a mod like... Or in any mod, for that matter. But, like, I can tell you exactly where you would use rope in Fallout 1 and 2. But never clear where you're going to use rope in, in a mod. Until you've found it. And I don't have a rope. Wow. So many people have had rope and I didn't actually... I've never actually stolen one. So wait, who had a rope? Rope, come on, give me a rope. There we go, there's a rope. For 99. Noinsig noin loof balloons right there. Get both? Oh, fair enough. Wait, did this guy have an extra line of dialogue? How's it going with the water? I've been in Salt Lake, they have quite a bad situation there. When it comes to water, everything is not good everywhere. But we're not a very big settlement, and the ecology here is relatively normal. We get by. How do you get to clean water? Digging a deeper well and taking water from it in, in a smart way. It needs to be distilled, not just still distilled and boiled. And a pinch of disinfectant will get the job done. A uh, water disinfectant? Where do you get it? Where do you get that? Something like that. We still had a good supply from the place we came from, but now it's almost used up. So you won't sell me this chemical? No. Water is more valuable than your money, even if you'd offer a lot. How are you going to handle the water purification, then? Buying all the disinfection available, building cisterns, setting up the means for water purification. I think there are also generators and filters that can be found somewhere. Uh, in the big cities, like Vegas, for example. What else? You seem to have an idea. Oh, nothing. It would just be terribly convenient to pump water from the ground. It's clean there. It would require a lot of special equipment, though, and apparently... A lot of such equipment already exists in Salt Lake. Why do you think so? What a weird question. Because we already had a few caravans coming here and asking if we have a filter for underground water treatment. And do you have one? Well, of course we don't. Where would we get it? And even if we had one, we would have already put it to our use. Well, you know. Uh, yes, sad? What? Okay, I... Okay, whatever. <laughs> That, that kind of made sense, but all right. Um, I don't need anything else. That was interesting. I don't really know if that helped me at all, but that's okay. We have a rope, so let's go and take the rope back and finish this little quest here. I am sorry it's missed. Okay, I got your rope. Uh, I got your rope. Really? Oh, that's great. Give it to me. Uh, not so fast. Tell me why I should help you. Why don't I just turn you in? <laughs> I understand. I know how to thank you, but only after you help us. I can tell you about a stash of very useful things. In any case, you'll, you'll not be left on the losing end. Okay. Well, then hold the rope. That's enough. Now there is only one thing left to do. We must run at night or we'll be easily spotted and caught. But the barricades north of Jessica's house are lit by a street lamp. I'm afraid someone will have to stay and cut the power while we get to the other side. Ah, don't pretend that you just realized this. I see when the emotions were staged. This, the emotions were staged. Oh, translation problems. Well, I get the hint. I'll be the switch that turns the electricity off. Who else but me? <laughs> well, then it's time to go to it. All you need to do is wait until night and turn off the lighting on the street. Sure, let's get started. Let me go. Hold on. Let me go see. So can I, can I still not talk to these people? Uh, all right, yo, here we go, here we go. Here we go, let me hit save here. Can have a dialogue here. So, well, well, what do we have here? Another radi radiated bone bag. <laughs> Look, like a bag with bones in it. <laughs> Talks to the brother. Did you hear that, brother? A bone bag. <laughs> you can laugh all you want, funny guys. When Robert takes away your sister, you won't be laughing anymore. 
Huh? I don't get it. Robert? That Mongol's at it again? <laughs> yep, what do you think the keys to your house went? Huh? He talks to his brother. Hey, bro, looks like it's time to empty somebody's pockets. That scum of the earth is asking for it again, he turns to you. But mark my word, stranger, if you don't find the keys on him, it'll be your last joke. Way to go, fighters. Off to war. Okay, I'm going to do something here really quick. Where do you think you're going, you piece of Brahmin dung? What do you want, guys? To go through your pockets in case some streets with something. I don't have your keys. Shut up. <laughs> oh, shit. What have we done? Let us split before we get busted. All right. So they murdered this guy and they took the keys. Only he has a key, too. But anyway, I got a thousand experience points for finishing it up. But I, there's the remains of Robert. But let me show you something. <laughs> It's not that it's not that I'm an advocate of such measures. It's just happened, you know. Look, outsider, here's a thousand dollars to keep your mouth shut. All right, I know how to keep my mouth shut when the money's right. All right. Um, can I talk to the sister still? No. What have they done? I can't. I don't want to see them anymore. But she just stands there anyway. Doesn't actually leave. Anyway. Um, so it would have been nice to have her just have her script and leave. But either way, so there's a key on this guy, a cash key, the standard key to some lock in the window war. Okay, cool. So there's a cash key here, but. But let me show you something really funny. Run back in here. Okay, so save. And I'm just going to go ahead and set this right here for like 10 seconds. This might be a bad idea, but we'll see how this goes. And then let's talk to this guy and then tell him to do all that stuff. And then tell him you're going, yeah, yeah, go get him. Go get him. Wait, no. <laughs> You were victorious in combat. You were in 60 XP points. <laughs> okay, maybe that was a little, that was a little too much. <laughs> I'm just gonna show you. Let me just show you something else here, guy. Like, I'm just gonna go in and loot everything while I'm here. <laughs> let's just let's just see what's going on back here, guys. Ooh, all right, that's mine. Ah, uh, good cash coming up. <laughs> All right, what else we got back here? Uh, some more grenades. <laughs> and stuff. And how about this guy? Does he talk to me? Hold it, you're not allowed to be in the barracks. Get out. Barracks, I thought it was a hotel of some sort. They kicked me out, though. But I'm invisible, so I can just run right back in. So it don't matter. <laughs> uh, can I get into this one? Yes, I can. I can take a stim packs. Nice. <laughs> winner, indeed. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Or whatever. The only thing is, um, oh, well, I think maybe if you hold shift. No, yeah, you can't. You can't see through the walls like this. That's the only downside. Oh, there's a thing there. But you can loot everything, everybody's stuff. Not that uh, anybody here will communicate with you anyway. Actually, what if I just start a fight with them? Like, yes, I will do what I want. Ah, oh, you can do nothing because I'm invisible. Ha ha! My invisibility. He's deadly. Anyway, anyway, uh, okay, so I didn't really want to kill everybody. I was just, just, just messing around. But actually, well, they're all dead. Let me go talk to the woman real quick. Oh, they're dead. I don't want to see them anymore. They're definitely dead, but she can't talk anyway. All right, what do we got here? The house key? I don't even know what that does. Is there a spot to use it at all? Probably not. No, that was the house key. Wait, hold on. Where's the other... There's the other one. Oh, it's still on his body. How interesting. I guess the game was spawned on him after he's dead. I don't even know where to use that, though. The standard key to some lock in the wind of war. Okay. Well, anyway, let's reload that. And uh, I don't want to murder everybody because the last time I was able to do this, I was able to start the fight and then not kill everybody. I don't remember. How did I do this? So it's not quite so easy to, to do that little exploit thing I'm trying to do. But here's what I could do. Let me try and uh, let me just go through it and then see if I can the take all control away from me. It does. OK, it does entirely. OK. Set it for 30 seconds.
I can't like move off the screen or anything. Not if they do die though. <laughs> oh shit, what have I done? Okay, well that was too long. All right, well, anyway, uh, I don't really want to murder everybody. That's not what this goal was. My goal was to just break the sequence and do some fun stuff with it, of which I can still do, but um, but not until I can find that that extra character that I got to be as a party member last time I played this, this mod. So I'll have to figure that out. I will have to figure that out. We'll have to find that guy, actually. Yeah, so that's all we got. Just uh, 30 bottles of beer and uh, run away. Robin and Jessica running away so far. I, there might be one more quest, but I don't think there is. I think that's all the quests there are. Uh, well, I have to get the car from this guy, of course. And of course, I can... If I were to join the caravan somehow, I could get this guy to help me rob the place. But that's going to be a minute because apparently I don't even know how to join a caravan. So let me go ahead and take a look at where I'm going next. Blackrock. Investigate the Brahmin's disappearance. I couldn't quite figure that out. I think there's... A speech check? I'm not sure. New Reno. Fill the C4 delivery. I'll probably never do that. Set the restaurant against the ranch. Frame El Dorado Casino. Steal a briefcase with money from Bertolini. I believe I can set the restaurant against the ranch this time. In New Reno. So let's try that out real quick. Las Vegas. Where's New Reno? There it is. Oh, wow, we're getting an uneventful trip right there. Straight there, uneventful trip. Nice. I think we're over here at the El Dorado. Nope. Uh, next door then, over here. Yeah, here we go. Here's the meat cart. It's okay, guard the cargo. I need to work out some details with my partner. Can I talk to that guy? What? Get lost. I don't have time for you. Okay, apparently that is the guy, but I can't talk to him. Where'd he go? Oh, okay, I can't actually talk to him. All right. Keep your hands to yourself or I'll chop him off and take him with me. All right, well. Hey, you step away from the carriage now. What if I just stand here? Does he do anything? No, it's just, okay. He's just, he's just telling me I'm failing a speech sneak deck. Okay, that's cool. All right, but I can get in close this way. Okay, so let's see about solving this with an explosive. No, okay, maybe not like that. <laughs> that is not gonna work. Wait, where did I save it last? All right, save it right there. Okay, go. Let's do not. Let's not do ten. Let's do thirty seconds this time. Ah, oh, damn it. That didn't work. No, no. That took too long. I can't see. The only frustrating thing about that is that I can't actually set the dynamite to go off when I'm in my inventory, but stealing from something or tr swapping items with another thing, you have to you have to do it in a certain order. See, I can't I, ca I can only drop things, which is frustrating from like like this. Okay, we'll just set it for two minutes or a minute or whatever. I'm not worried about it. No, what? No, come on! God dang it! I, no, <laughs> that's not right. <laughs> it's messed up. Let's try that again. Okay, get in there. Drop the dynamite right away. Uh, I guess we'll just have to wait for it to explode. I think it will. Right there it goes. What was that? Did I win? Uh. Okay. Well, well, there was a scripted response. Hold on, who was I who was I doing that for? It's Bertolini. So where do I find Bertolini? Uh 
up here maybe okay uh, is this Bertolini that's, well no is this Bertolini that's Bruce Bertolini okay cool let's grab that conversation did that work come partner have a seat I'm ready to hear you out I'm here to talk about my task did you manage to do what I asked Mission accomplished. Luciano's rep reputation was undermined. I guess. Oh, this is good news. Did you do it quietly, as I asked? Oh, yes, just like you wanted. No one suspects anything. 750 experience points. No one suspects anything. You drop some dynamite. Get an explosive thing inside of somebody's meat packaging. <laughs> meat delivery. And nobody suspects a thing. Like, there's obviously something going on here. Oh, wait, hold on. This was the Italian accent. Wait, hold on. I'm gonna go. How did it go? I'm pleased with your diligence, or something like that. You truly adapt well. Thank you, Mr. Bertolini. Will there be any new jobs? Yes, sir, you've approved yourself, so so I can trust you with a more serious mission. Your payment will also correspond with the, with the significance of each task. What do I need to do? I need you to destroy Luciano's enterprise. He has to be knocked out of the rut. Knocked out of the rut? Okay. So that later I could dictate my, my conditions to him. And Oliver should not die under any circumstances. To destroy his whole enterprise? How should I do it? I'm gonna have to go back and touch that one up a little bit. Who's who's paying you, for Gecko's sake? This is your headache, so you decide what to do. But if I were you, I'd first take a closer look at the central facilities of the ranch. The hangar, Brahmin Corral, or Paddock with slaves. The more losses you arrange, the better. Maybe it is a risky question, but still, why is this even necessary? After all, that enterprise provides the Reno, the Reno, with food. Okay. Actually, I think I gave him the gangster accent last time. I'm not going to discuss my plans with you, she. <laughs> I think that's what I was doing. But I'll say that Luciano is not as simple as you think. He is not an ordinary rancher with a head stuck in a Brahmin's ass, and he's not some kind of traitor who'll sell the screw nuts to degraded savages. He is the driving force. One of the most powerful people in town today. People are rat rallying around him. He dictates his conditions and he also has some sort of plan. Hmm. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe you're from one of those places where food is just another product. But here, it's a thing that gathers lives around. Now, do you understand? The objective is accepted. Wait for the results, Mr. Bertolini. Okay. Well, that was a quest. Uh, I did finish a quest. Yay. And then I opened up a new one. Oh, Luciano. Okay, so I have two options here. Although the Luciano ones, for some reason, I'm not really sure why these are popping up. They shouldn't be because I haven't actually had a conversation with Luciano yet. But okay. So Bernalini put Luciano in the business without killing him. And Luciano frame El Dorado Casino and steal a briefcase with money from Bernalini. Okay. I wonder why those are both showing up. I kind of level there, I just noticed. Um, and I have a perk. Awesome. Oh, I've already had a perk. All right, cool. Bonus range damage move and hand-to-hand -hand combat and better criticals. Better criticals right there. That is definitely one I have to take right now. I don't know why I didn't take it last time. Oh, I see. I've been saving up my, my perks. I didn't realize that. Okay. <laughs> well, in that case, we'll take, let's take Strong back. There we go. I might have been saving him up for another reason, but that's okay. It's okay. 50 extra pounds of carry weight is going to help me out a little bit here. Um, let's see. I got... I So I took care of that. I don't believe I'm a made man yet. Yeah, nothing like that. So what else do we have for quests? I should go talk to Wright, actually. Let's go talk to him about that uh, C4 delivery real quick. Keep your distance. I don't know what's wrong with your face, but even if it's not contagious, I don't want it anywhere near me. Sneeze in his direction. Oh, Mr. Wright, I've always wanted to shake your hand. Have you completed my errand? Um, About that job. I'm listening. About those prospectors. Where are my explosives in Uranium City? Nelson has them. They're what? You imbecile. Those explosives are my leverage against that town. Get them back at any cost. If you have to kill this Nelson, do it. Now go, the next time I see you, you better have my explosives walk away. All right. 
I've heard about it. Mr. Wright, I've heard about your collection of pre-war things. Could you tell me more about it? The museum is closed for the foreseeable future. I was robbed recently, and I will not allow the relics of a greater age to be fenced off. To be fenced for some gutter trash's drug money. Oh, that's a shame. All right, well, it must have been an option earlier to have him do that for you. But it's no longer the case. Because I robbed him! I think I robbed him blind. I actually stole everything off. Maybe I didn't. Oh. Wait, hold on. Yeah, I totally stole everything. You can see it's all gray. It'd be blue if I were something on there that I left. Okay, let me take a look at the status for some of the other quests real quick. Do 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 complete the warehouse a special assignment. Nowhere near that. Wind of War. 30 bottles of beer. Love lock. Love lock. Okay. Let's go to Lovelock. I've already been to Hawthorne, so maybe I can solve one of those quests. Not that I can mark who's supposed to be, who's given me those quests right now. It's not an option, but... And real quick, who was Niskigan either? So the Makuzid. Uh, Venagazig, the Foggy Day. Omakaki. Niskigan, all right. Do you know where the radio station is? Radio? No, I do not know. You are lying. Take me to it now. You are in the land of our ancestors, in my house, and you dare to threaten me? May the wrath of the ruler of life be upon you. Cheyenne Raider, strength nine. I neither of these, I think, but I don't know. Have it your way. I'll go through your villagers one by one until somebody shows me where it is. You'll have plenty of people giving your place of healing its proper respect then. I failed. Okay. Fine, I be trademark will be come back, okay. <laughs> uh sorry, sorry, I got a little overexcited still. You really don't know if there's a radio station around here? No, fine, alright. I'm supposed to do what? Return to Niskigvang his belongings, taken away by a raider named Furioser. Oh, that must be back here. So this quest I have yet to do <laughs> because it's such a pain in the ass. <laughs> it really is. I tell you what, let's do this. Let's take like an hour and grind up some levels. Half an hour, an hour, something like that. Let's just go grind up some levels real quick. Get up. Uh, so I have some armor, so I'm not completely naked. I have my punching and uh, I will start investing in my small guns and maybe even my big guns. Although I don't think I've actually found a big gun yet. So let's just go and clear up some of the map. Run into some special encounters and or special random encounters rather. And try and make a profit. Alright, what is in here? Come on. Is there like a special thing in the corner here? Is that why it's all... Hardy's Caravan. Apparently I encountered Hardy's Caravan. What do we got here? I take my job seriously. You mess with the boss, you die. All right. Same thing for all these guys. Everything? All right. What have we got in here? Hardy, apparently. Wander in these parts? Coughs. <laughs> Interesting. You probably need new knickers for the trip. Think about it. Maybe I'll find something for you among these items. Uh, Sure, show me what you have. Is this the guy that the one guy was referring to? Huh. Recipe mantis snack. The cooking recipe for snacks from the fruit from the foot of a mantis soaked in beer and fried with pieces of muta fruit. Uh, it'd be mute fruit, but okay. Anyway, saboteur's case for traps. Super science, probably for science. A big book of science, definitely for science. Oh, what is this? An M16K and a submachine gun? All right, all right. Well, there's some interesting looking things. Oh, too expensive still. All right, can I, how much of this can I steal from the guy? None of it, none of it. Oh, it's messed up. Oh, thanks for that, modder. <laughs> I can't steal anything from this guy. Um, does anybody have a super or a stim pack on them or anything like that? No, just ammo. Well, I guess I could steal their ammo and sell it back to him. Let's do that. Stealing their ammo and gonna go sell it back to him. 
It's so easy to steal their ammo. I didn't even have to reload. Oh, I had to reload that time. Oh, no. <laughs> that. The darkness of the afterlife is all that awaits you now. May you find more peace in that world than you found in this one. I hope so, too. But that's okay. I'll, I'll find less ammo. <laughs> Still going to steal it. Got it. Now let's go sell it back to him and get some free stuff. Uh, oh, 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 a power fist. Oh, oh, can I afford it? Oh my God, I cannot, can I? Oh my God, this ammo is worth garbage. Oh my God, this ammo is garbage now. Oh, I want that power fist so bad, so bad, but there's no way I can afford it ever. How much does this take it up to? 790, uh, how much is this? 150, uh, can we meet out the money? Maybe not the recipe. Yeah, close enough. We'll take some money out of that. Okay, cool. Let's get out of here. That'll be enough. Hey, more bears! It's okay. I took. Whoa, what was that? An inter intermittent spring? Just appeared out of nowhere. You're out of luck this time. The water in this drying spring is radioactive. What? what? You can't do that, huh? What was that? Have, do you guys know anything about this? The intermittent spring thing? That's brand new. I don't think I've ever run into that before. Interesting. Is there anything else hiding down here? No, there's nothing else hiding down here. Seriously? This entire corner of the map is just empty. Oh my God, that's terrible. What kind of a modder would do that? Actually, I bet there's something that's gonna appear later once I get the coordinates for it or something like that. Oh wait, th there was a recipe for mantis legs that I got, right? No, I didn't get it that time. Oh well. So are there actually body parts that come off the mantis when you kill them? Well, they're highlighted. Yes, there are. Huh. You can get one or two mantis legs off of these guys. Apparently it's like random between one and two. What is this exactly? Crispy limb of giant sized insect, but I can't do anything with it. Let me try this. Oh, I can't, okay, I have to go, I have to find one of those with the tent in it specifically. Frustrating. Oh, uh, oh, okay, I, I want a meal. Wait, I can make these? You need, I need two of those, I don't have them. Study the stim pack recipe, science 75, I don't have that. Atomic cocktail recipe and science 40, I don't have that either. Oh, I can't do anything with this. Oh, lame. Maybe I can sell them. Sweet, sweet. Okay. <laughs> it says sweat, but I do understand what you're saying. Oh, God, no. Oh, God, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's not a good sign. That is not a good sign. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't corrupt please no no <laughs> no i knew it was gonna do it i knew it was oh fuck i didn't like run out of hard drive space or anything did i hold on No, I'm definitely not out of hard drive space. I still got 22 gigs free. Not much, but I got I got a 22 gigs free. Okay, I guess I guess we got a Alt F for this. Oh my God! Wow! Woo! Damn, that one went down hard. Woo! Okay, let's let's get it back up. Let's start. <laughs> Damn. The last time it happened, it corrupted the save, and so I now I'm about to find out if that save is really corrupted or not. Oh, uh, it is not corrupted, thank God. All right, can I save it in another slot though, just in case? Yes, okay, cool. 
Yeah, I gotta level this character up a couple times. This is kind of irritating. Oh, there's my level. 95 skill points. Oh, yeah. All right, cool. That's all I really wanted was that level. <laughs> the next one's at 66,000. Oh, I do want to get to level 12. It's all right. All right. Whatever. Let's just keep going. So that I will, you know, I'll never, I'll basically never pick anything. Oh, my God. Seriously. Fucking God damn it. Ah, shit. <laughs> Should have just reloaded. I'll never be able to just pick up a bunch of really you know, expensive equipment and then just sell it for money, 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 or even get high quality equipment early or even mid game. I basically have to go around and buy it manually. So the drop, the drop, the encounter types that are set up on this map, not particularly interesting. Very, very boring. Uh, maybe it's level locked in some way. I don't recall. It might've been. Here, let me get these last two, um, or last two or three here, little black squares. It's all that's left on the map. Oh, hello, an unknown. House on wheels. Oh. Let's rest until morning and check this out. All right, I'm going to check out this encounter. What is this exactly? It's a rock. Anything else going on here? Doesn't look like it. All right, what's going on? Mom. You better not hassle me. My husband will get angry. And you wouldn't like him when he's angry. <laughs> Dad told me not to talk to strangers. I'm a blah, blah, blah. Okay. Let me steal from the mom. She's got some food. Steal from the kid. She's got a flower. A black flower. And the dad. His speech is nervous and disorganized, but his hands are steady on his shotgun. No sudden Merwin, stranger. Keep your hands where I can see them. Hey, easy. My hands are right here. See, far from any weapons. Why don't you do the same? Sully lowers the gun without taking his keen eyes off you. Sorry, but I've got a family to protect. I can't afford to take risks. I understand that, but don't you think you're going to... You're being a pit, bit paranoid? You think you can afford to trust in this world? We come a long way, visit a bunch of civilized settlements, and the more we see, the more we lean towards keeping away from everybody. So what's the problem? Nobody's insisting on keeping your company, are they? Well, that's true, but we still need to get food and spare parts. Besides, we've got another problem driving us west. Problem? Well, I happen to be a sort of a problem solver. We're running out of water. My wife is trying to cook something edible from odds and ends. Also, I think my shotgun might have some issues with its shell feeder or something, and this Rattletrap's engine is giving me hell again. After living in that damn vault, I'm constantly checking all our equipment, but I just don't have the skills. I'm a doctor, not an engineer. I'm a doctor, Jim. Not a surgeon. <laughs> anyway. Uh, what did you say about water? I can't afford, I can't offer much for barter, but I learned to make stim packs merge. Will it do? Then I'll trade you one stim pack for every 10 pounds of clean water. Um, let's talk about it next time. Um, I'll come back when I have some clean water. Okay, what else did you say you needed? Because I apparently don't have any clean water. Small weapon 65. What's wrong with the shotgun? Uh, that's what I'm asking. If you don't know jack shit about guns, don't try to meddle. All right, something else. I can get that though. Been a while since I last poked around an old engine. I don't have much of a choice. Well, if you can help, I'll make it up to you. I'll go have a look then. All right, so. Repair 50. <laughs> you lift up the hood. The look of countless parts and wires sends you into a bout of panic attack. Repair 50. Try to figure out the problem. Seems like it's not very complicated, but you can't make out what the problem is. Leave it. My skills. I have 95 skill points, so I guess I may as well take this one up to 50 and at least do that. My small guns is only at 37, though. I keep looking for for books, but oh well. Oh, hold on. Try it out. Okay. The engine is fully functional. It just requires some routine maintenance. Strip the engine of useful parts. Ouch. Hold on. What happens if I strip the engine of useful parts? You dismantled all the worthwhile junk, took the energy supply controller, and a working microfusion cell. The owner probably won't like it, but you knew what you were in for, right? Exactly. <laughs> so there's a fuel regulator. So th that's one of them, I guess. Uh, I've been looking for this for a while to get that car, but I don't know if I want to steal from this guy. Hey, uh, about that engine. What, you fixed it? Look, I'm terribly sorry, but now the car is not going anywhere. I killed the engine. 
What? Good grief. I'm such an idiot for trusting a stranger. Ugh. Get out of my side before I blow your brains out and never come back. Hey, I tried. Yeah, I guess. I did the exact opposite of trying. All right. Well, is that a clear enough? And then I'll pop one in your brain. All right, well, let's just start a fight. Okay, let's just go ahead and reload that. Let's be nice. All right. Pair 50, do the maintenance. Bang up job. That's better. You gain 300 experience points. About that engine? We'll let you fix it. It's all right now. Damn, thank you, Traveler. Purrs like a cat. Hands you a stim pack. Actually, do they know what cats are? Well, if you're in a fall, maybe. Anyway. I know it's not much for such a bang up job, but we're tough on supplies, you know? You have to understand. Just don't forget to clean the fuel injectors from time to time. Anything else? Clean the fuel injectors? Oh, not usually the problem, but okay. Nothing changed since the last time you asked. It's all the same problems. Okay. Um, did you say vault? Vault 53. What, you don't look surprised? Uh, you've heard about the vaults before. Then you know the overall story and the details. Doesn't matter now, given the vault has been long abandoned, but it never worked right anyway. So no big deal. Oh, wait, I always have time for a good story. Well, nothing really good about this story. When the war began, our evacuation went smoothly, but that's the end of the good news. I don't know who built Vault 53, but they definitely weren't fans of their job. All the equipment was constantly failing. One day, the door mechanism malfunctions, so we listen to the Geiger counter like a fucking radio. The next day, the water chip malfunctions, so the water's mixed with... I don't even want to know what. It went on and on, and because of the innovative power supply system, a part of the vault had to be cut off completely. The failures hit us like a fucking clockwork. Every month, there was at least one. It wasn't just a bad luck. Okay, we're gonna have to fix that. We were placed under those conditions intentionally, whatever the goal might have been. But if they expected panic and disorder from us, boy, were they wrong. Diseases, depression, and menacing death only brought us closer together. The survivors finally had enough of that shit and decided to leave the vault. After passing through the irradiated ruins of a big city, we found an old car park where we created a new settlement. Wow, you're still listening? Huh. Interesting. Have you personally seen anything worthwhile in your travels? Well, the east was deserted. We saw the ruins of Washington and Chicago, but we couldn't even get close to the suburbs because of radiation. Ha! Ha! That's a re I think that's kind of a reference to uh, the Bethesda Falls. Anyway. And I wanted to show Capital Millennium Park to my daughter so much. Don't forget the flora and fauna mutated by radiation, itching to have a taste of your flesh. Once, near Cleveland, we bumped into a caravan, or what remained of it. Something crawled out of the catacombs and tore two dozen armed men to bits. Their blood still steaming in the cold. Seldom have I prayed as vehemently and sincerely as that moment, getting away as fast as was humanly possible. You can find life over there only in very small settlements, but the farther we traveled west, the more people we met. Well, I'm definitely postponing my trip to those parts for now. In the meantime, do you maybe have some work for me? Nothing changed since the last time you asked. Okay. Well, I don't believe these things are what make you roam about the land. He evidently hes hesitates before speaking, fidgeting a copper, fidgeting with a copper cross on his neck. Ah, oh, what the hell. At this point, I'll try anything. Do you know what leukemia is? Dr. 80. Er, yeah, sounds familiar. Let's see. Well, do you at least know what bone marrow is? All right. In terms of that, you'd understand. My daughter has a blood disease and the odds aren't quite aren't good. That's why we're looking for people qualified enough to help our girl. Well, that's a sad story. It's a pity I can't help you, but you must have other problems apart from that. Well, I did have the other one, but okay. Um, so, Water, Small Weapon 65, and Doctor of 80. Really got a load of problems. I go think about what I can do, which is not much, apparently. My doctor skill is zero. <laughs> Alright, well, I like how he's a boat on top of the house here, on top of the car. Like, in case it floods. Anyway, okay, so um, I guess that's about all I can do on this map. Because I don't have the levels for this still, even though I have a bunch of skill points. I could probably get one of those. I get small guns to 65. But there's no way I'm getting Doctor up to 80. Unless I just spend it all right now. I'm not getting two of them, I'm definitely only getting one. What was the other one? Water. I don't have any water, so I don't know where I'm going to get that. Uh, well, let's keep going. I'll have to remember that and try and make my way back. Doctor sure gets a lot of use in this. A little more than uh, I'm used to, that's for sure. 
What's really annoying though is that there aren't any doctor skill books. Still, there's first aid skill books, but no doctor skill books. Uh, what's more frustrating than that though is that there's also no place that regularly stocks skill books. So you'd have to. There's no library like there is in, in uh, Fallout 1, you know? So you'd have to go and be lucky enough to catch them when they restock in the store. Anyway, it um, it's just tough to tough to level up your your skills without just investing in levels and levels are tough to come by even then where in the world did i get that because i know i didn't get that fuel cell regulator for off of that guy's truck that's the first time i'd seen that encounter so where did i get the fuel cell regulator the first time because i know i got a fuel cell regulator and i know i was able to actually get that car running but i don't remember how i got the car running specifically right now I remember there's a car part at MPP. Really? Hold on. I have one Radex. I need another Radex. He got. He has one. That's a, okay. 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 Let's go see about that. Drugs. I have two Radex. Okay. Let's go get. Let's go get that car part. Let's go get that car part, and that's where I'm gonna call it tonight. Thank you for letting me know that it was in Poseidon Oil. I didn't know it was. I didn't know where it was. Let's go get that car part. There we go. Car part. Okay, so settlement and bam. Then we're going to open up this and go straight to the drug section. And let's pull out two Radex. And bam, I am now 95% radiation resistance, which means this is going to be really easy to deal with the radiation now. Yay! So what can we steal? What can we loot here? I don't need the rock. You can keep that. And of course, because this place takes place between Fallout 1 and Fallout 2, the uh, ghouls have not yet settled here in the Gecko power plant. Although there are a couple geckos, it looks like. Golden geckos in particular. There is a dead body here. Pros prospector's remains. Well, he's got stuff. I guess I'll take it. Anything else? Yeah, okay. Meh. What about over here? Oh, yeah. There we go. No? Okay. Golden Gecko. Always a slightly tougher one. Actually, uh, I, let me look at the quest log now that I think about it. Hold on. Oh, not you. Oh, I can't do it in combat? Fine. Let's just catch up with this guy and deal with him. Jeez, how many hits is he going to take? There you go. There you go. The door is locked. Oh, I liked how that's the background there. It's lock picking at 6%. Lock pick required 75. Damn, okay, I can't do that. Door here. Let's rest in, oh, I can't rest in this location. Is this an exit grid? It is an exit grid. Okay. Well, these guys got to account. Damn. Okay, 
Oh, I let me loot these guys. Or I forget. Bam! Should I use the unofficial fast? Because playing it vanilla, I may do first time through. It doesn't really matter unless you wanna unless you wanna take advantage of the exploits. The exploits can be really fun, but it doesn't really matter. Go ahead and check out the unofficial patch. That's worth doing. It's just bug fixes from my understanding. I don't believe they changed anything in the unofficial patch. The patch fixes some bugs. It doesn't fix them all. And even then it introduces a couple of new bugs here and there, but they've done their best to, to fix even those. So yeah, I should probably play with the unofficial patch one time just to see, just to give it a review or something. Tightly, the door is so tightly jammed that you can't remove it. Well, there's a Smash Patrol automobile. What do you want to bet that's where I gotta get my car part right there? I just can't get in. You can't knock out such a massive door. No, of course not. Some junk. Uh, I cannot carry it. Oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Gotta be kidding me. All right. Well, these are garbage. So, oh, 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 no. Oh, whoo. Whoo. I thought it had just totally hosed me. Wow. Okay. Whatever. Anyway, let's pick up the junk and leave that box full of uh, gecko hides. Let's save before it gets too much farther. We got what? Do we got a flare here. A flare. Woo. Another flare. This Fallout 2 crashes frankly as New Vegas. Uh, I would say it crashes slightly more often. <laughs> uh, though to be fair, my experience with Vegas uh, was minimal on the crashing, so I don't really know. I can't really say for sure. Seriously, do I really need to put points in a lockpick just to get in here? Oh, you know what? Never mind. What am I doing? I got a grenade. I got a couple grenades. Let's take care of that. Grenade the fucking door, bitch. Get out of my way. Yeah. That's why. That's why you carry around grenades, and that's why you carry around any explosive. Like that. That's a good explosive right there. You can keep this. I'll take the explosive. Oh, all right. Cool. Okay, well, I got them grenades, so let's try and blow this door up. Apparently, I'm radiating. No! How about this door? No! Shit. What am I going to do? How can I get in there? Oh, there's a thing. You see a crane. The chain is in no condition to be used. You need to replace it with something. I guess I can, well, I can use the junk on it. That does nothing. Okay. I think I, there was a rope there. So maybe the rope. Where's my rope? There it is. You replace the chain with a rope should be enough for light weights. Using a crane, you erected a pyramid of debris near the wall of the garage. Oh, okay. Oh, all right, cool. Oh, nice. This will come in handy. You found an intact fuel cell controller under the hood. Wow, damn time. That is still going open. Can I get out from here? Oh, I can get out from here. All right, cool. All right, we got the car part. Is there anything else to explore over here? Let me go look around real quick. Yeah, there is. Oh, uh, Geiger counter about time. Haven't had one of these for a while, ever. Oh uh, no, it's super radioactive in here. No, there's nothing to do. Let's get out. Let's get out. I'm going to have to run back and get radiated radiation treatment here as soon as I get back. 
At least my I'm still radiation resistance, 95%. And you know what? I'm going to try and blow this door open. I hadn't tried to do that yet. Yes! Let's get inside. What do we got in here? Feels pretty hot and lousy in here. Oh, there's... Oh. Oh, I ain't handling those guys. No, I'm not ready for this place yet. Oh, I'm not yet. Oh, it's so disappointing. That's well, okay. I'll find some more relics and come back. All right, let's go. Let's go to Vault City. Let's get my radiation treated. Oh my God, seriously? Yeah, this is an unarmed build, but I but it's not on purpose exactly. Uh, whenever I play a mod where I'm not sure it, where, where where my first set of gun is going to be, I I tend to just take an unarmed build. For there are actually a couple of reasons besides that. Like like uh, most most mods and, and even in Fallout itself has a couple of sequences where you can fight uh, a, a, a fight a bunch of unarmed characters in a ring, and uh, having an unarmed build for that is always useful because it allows you to actually uh, do do those quests and pre reasonably successfully, you know, without having to fudge around a bunch of... Oh, I'm going to read that. A bunch of stuff. Go. I'm 20 pounds overloaded. It must be because of the all, the, all my radiation. Let's just get out of here. Can't care anything. Just too bad. Get back to Vault City. All right, let's go get some uh, radiation treatment. From the dock. How the fuck did I end up so... How did I lose a point of strength? Am I still reading? Oh my god, seriously? I I'm still radiated. What? What? Can't do anything about that. What? Why? Can I at least sell this guy some stuff? He said take a seat. Yeah, but there's no sitting in Fallout. <laughs> Not in Fallout 1 and 2 anyway. <laughs> oh, he won't bargain with me. Damn it. Will anybody in this in this town? Like anybody in this town actually does bother with me. That's sad. Oh well. Get rid of my stuff easily. Get out of here. Come on, let's go. Let's get out. Gonna have to run back to the place with the car. Do I even have enough money? I'm I don't remember how much. I might if I sell stuff, I might be able to afford that car. Uh where's this guy at? He's in Windavor, yeah. Is there a doctor that treats radiation in this game anymore? I forget. Oh shit, no, come on! Come on! Give me a fucking break, I'm just trying to get a fucking car! Let me run away for the love of fucking God! Uh, through the door, at least I'm safe for a second. Keep running. Damn it! Can we run the corner? Just barely. Oh, I think I was I gotta the exit grid. God dang it, just about did not make it there. Alright, here we go. Save that. Am I still radiated? Oh, I'm not radiated anymore. Yay! Alright, let's go get that car. Let's go get that car. Here we go. Um I'm looking for here it is, the fuel kill the fuel controller. Woo! Well, it looks like a working one. Oh, I am so excited that my hands are sweaty. Not so fast. What do I get for this chip? Well, that's a good question. Uh, look, let's do it like this. Uh, I'll buy this chip for $2,000 from you. Then I'll fix the car. It'll take some time. And then you can buy the whole truck if you want to, of course. Um, then here for how much? Well, I was counting on a price of 35000 and only in cash. And don't waste time on persuading me. I want to fix this car first. Wow. Fucking 35,000. Where the fuck am I going to get 35,000? Holy shit. Uh, no way. I'll keep this thing for a while. I, I think not. I think not. Um. Uh, 
Uh, no, and you know what? Let's uh, here. Here's the fuel controller. Um, here's the controller. Here's the money. I think one day would be enough to finish the work. Come back tomorrow, and then we can discuss a purchase if you're still interested. All right, thirty-five thousand. Let's rest until morning, I guess. All right, talk to this guy. Um, what? Hold on. All right, let, what, maybe an hour. There we go. Well, how's my truck? Yours? It's still my truck, weirdo. And you know, it's just gorgeous. All my life, I've been dreaming of a thing like this, and I don't even—I don't know if I'm ready to sell it to a complete stranger. I understand what what amount will comfort the bitterness of your loss. Thirty-five thousand cash only. Barter fifty. This is too much to acquire that amount of money. The whole caravan will have to work for a year. Think again if you don't want to lose a client. No, I put too much work into this. Okay, uh, let's go back to the previous price. Could be a time to think. And um, can I just close this door? Where's the uh, where's the door handle? Um, not allowed to close the door. Warned you, you cannot go there. Do this again, and someone gets hurt. Understand? That's my point. Can I please close the door? I just want to close the door so I can do some damage. All right. Well, in that case, we're just going to go in sneak mode. There we go. Unconscious in combat. No, everybody saw me. Even in sneak mode? Oh, that's bullshit. That's bullshit. I was sneaking. I was totally sneaking. You shouldn't have seen me at all. Go, good. Fucking go unconscious. You too, you son of a bitch. Take a look at that. There we go. Everybody's unconscious. Just walk to the door. Let's get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. No. <laughs> you go back to sleep, dude. Nighty night. Oh, he's dead now. Oh, well. And let's just go steal the car. <laughs> Wait, where's the door? There it is. Yay, it's my car now. Oh, hold on. Wait, hold on. This vehicle won't start. There's one critical part missing. A fuel controller. Also, you know, they didn't even install the fuel controller. God damn it. God, what the fuck am I going to get this car? Ah, oh, shit. Oh, well. It is pretty clear that I cannot steal the car, even if I wanted to. And that pisses me off so much, so, so much, so much. I mean, can I at least, can this guy have like, no, I damn it. Oh no, he picked something up off his dead body. It was probably a weapon. There, okay, wait, there, there's the fuel cell control. Let me take that. I guess I can take it, but he doesn't actually install it unless you pay him, which is really BS. <laughs> God damn it. Can I close this door, please? For the love of God, please. Let me close the door. Oh, well. All right, there we go. What? That does nothing? Oh my God, no! I can't, I can't do anything here. Oh, that sucks. I'm gonna have to go find 35,000 somehow. That sucks. Anyway, let's give it a save here. Save it in the start here slot. Well, hold on, actually, I wanted to keep the start here slot. Uh, let's save it in the quick save slot and I will come back and do something with the car. No, actually, let's just load up the start here slot and just move it around. Here. There we go. That's, I'm gonna call it a night here. It's past midnight. Hope you guys enjoyed enjoyed the stream. I did manage to get the car part. It is truly disappointing that I cannot actually get the car yet. Even if I steal the part and try to install it myself, I can't get the car. It's so frustrating. Ugh, 35,000. I, I barely had 3,000 was the most I'd ever had in that game so far. It's 3,000 caps or dollars or whatever it is they were selling stuff in. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs>